The Cayman Islands or is an autonomous British overseas territory in the Western Caribbean Sea. The 264 square kilometer, 102 square mile territory comprises the three islands of Grand Cayman, Cayman Brac and Little Cayman, which are located to the south of Cuba and northeast of Honduras, between Jamaica and the Yucatan Peninsula. The total population of the three islands is approximately 60,765. The capital city is Georgetown, situated on Grand Cayman. The Cayman Islands is considered to be part of the geographic Western Caribbean zone as well as the Greater Antilles. The territory is often considered a major world offshore financial haven for international businesses and many wealthy individuals. History The Cayman Islands remained largely uninhabited until the 17th century. While there is no archaeological evidence for an indigenous people on the islands, a variety of settlers from various backgrounds made their home on the islands, including pirates, shipwrecked sailors, and deserters from Oliver Cromwell's army in Jamaica. Folklore suggests that the emergence of the name Cayman is a result of a captive's successful flee from Cromwell's army. His name was Cayman Cushing, and he supposedly initiated the escape. It is believed that several other captives escaped to the islands alongside Cushing. As a result of his bravery, the runaway prisoners settled on what they called the Cayman Islands. The first recorded permanent inhabitant of the Cayman Islands, Isaac Baden, was born on Grand Cayman around 1661. He was the grandson of the original settler named Baden who was probably one of Oliver Cromwell's soldiers at the taking of Jamaica in 1655. England took formal control of the Cayman Islands, along with Jamaica, as a result of the Treaty of Madrid of 1670. Following several unsuccessful attempts at settlement, a permanent English-speaking population in the islands dates from the 1730s. With settlement, after the first royal land grant by the governor of Jamaica in 1734, came the perceived need for slaves. Many were brought to the islands from Africa, this is evident today with the majority of native Caymanians being of African and English descent. The results of the first census taken in the islands in 1802 showed the population on Grand Cayman to be 933 with 545 of those inhabitants being enslaved. Slavery was abolished in the Cayman Islands in 1833. At the time of abolition, there were over 950 blacks of African ancestry enslaved by 116 white families of English ancestry. The islands continued to be governed as part of the colony of Jamaica until 1962, when they became a separate crown colony while Jamaica became an independent Commonwealth realm. On 8 February 1794, the Caymanians rescued the crews of a group of ten merchant ships, including HMS Convert, an incident that has since become known as the wreck of the Ten Sail. The ships had struck a reef and run aground during rough seas. Legend has it that King George III rewarded the island with a promise never to introduce taxes as compensation for their generosity, as one of the ships carried a member of the king's own family. While this remains a popular legend, the story is not true. The Cayman Islands historically has been a tax exempt destination. The government of the Cayman Islands has always relied on indirect and not direct taxes. The territory has never levied income tax, capital gains tax, or any wealth tax, making them a popular tax haven. On the 11th of September 2004, the island of Grand Cayman, which lies largely unprotected at sea level, was hit by Hurricane Ivan, creating an 8 feet (2.4 meters) storm surge which flooded many areas of Grand Cayman. An estimated 83% of the dwellings on the island were damaged, including 4% requiring complete reconstruction. A reported 70% of all dwellings suffered severe damage from flooding or wind. Another 26% sustained minor damage from partial roof removal, low levels of flooding, or impact with floating or wind-driven hurricane debris. Power, water and communications were disrupted for months in some areas as Ivan was the worst hurricane to hit the islands in 86 years. Grand Cayman began a major rebuilding process and within two years its infrastructure was nearly returned to pre-hurricane status. Due to the tropical location of the islands, more hurricanes or tropical systems have affected the Cayman Islands than any other region in the Atlantic Basin. It has been brushed or directly hit, on average, every 2.23 years. Geography <laughs> 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 
The islands are in the Western Caribbean Sea and are the peaks of a massive underwater ridge, known as the Cayman Ridge or Cayman Rise. This ridge flanks the Cayman Trough, 6,000 meters feet deep which lies 6 kilometers miles to the south. The islands lie in the northwest of the Caribbean Sea, east of Quintana Roo, Mexico and Yucatan State, Mexico, northeast of Costa Rica, north of Panama, south of Cuba and west of Jamaica. They are situated about 700 kilometers (430 miles) south of Miami, 750 kilometers (470 miles) east of Mexico, 366 kilometers (227 miles) south of Cuba, and about 500 kilometers (310 miles) northwest of Jamaica. Grand Cayman is by far the largest, with an area of 197 square kilometers (76 square miles). Grand Cayman's two sister islands. Cayman Brac and Little Cayman, are about 120 kilometers 75 miles east-northeast of Grand Cayman and have areas of 38 and 28.5 square kilometers 14.7 and 11.0 square miles, respectively. All three islands were formed by large coral heads covering submerged ice age peaks of western extensions of the Cuban Sierra Maestra range and are mostly flat. One notable exception to this is the bluff on Cayman Brac's eastern part, which rises to 43 meters (141 feet) above sea level, the highest point on the islands. Terrain is mostly a low-lying limestone base surrounded by coral reefs. Topic: <laughs> Fauna. Topic: The mammalian species in the Cayman Islands include the introduced Central American agouti and eight species of bats. At least three now extinct native rodent species were present up until the discovery of the islands by Europeans. Marine life around the island of the Grand Cayman includes tarpon, silversides French angelfish and giant barrel sponges. A number of cetaceans are found in offshore waters. These species include the goose-beaked whale Blainville's beaked whale and sperm whale Cayman avian fauna includes two endemic subspecies of Amazona parrots, Amazona leucocephala hesterna or Cuban Amazon, presently restricted to the island of Cayman Brac, but formerly also on Little Cayman, and Amazona leucocephala caymanensis or Gran Cayman parrot, which is native to the Cayman Islands, forested areas of Cuba, and the Isla de la Juventud. Little Cayman and Cayman Brac are also home to red-footed and brown boobies. Although the barn owl occurs in all three of the islands but they are not commonplace. The Cayman Islands also possess five endemic subspecies of butterflies on the islands. These butterfly breeds can be viewed at the Queen Elizabeth II Botanic Park on the Grand Cayman. Among other notable fauna at the Queen Elizabeth II Botanic Park is the critically threatened blue iguana which is also known as the Grand Cayman Iguana the blue iguana is endemic to the Grand Cayman particularly because of rocky, sunlit, open areas near the island's shores that are advantageous for the laying of eggs. Nevertheless, habitat destruction and invasive mammalian predators remain primary reasons that blue iguana hatchlings do not survive naturally. The Cuban crocodile Crocodilus rhombifer once inhabited the islands, and the American crocodile C. Acutus is thought to be repopulating Grand Cayman. The name, Cayman is derived from a Carib word for various crocodilians. Topic. Climate The Cayman Islands has a tropical wet and dry climate, with a wet season from May to October, and a dry season that runs from November to April. Seasonally, there is little temperature change. A major natural hazard is the tropical cyclones that form during the Atlantic hurricane season from June to November. On 11 and 12 September 2004, Hurricane Ivan struck the Cayman Islands. The storm resulted in two deaths and caused great damage to the infrastructure on the islands. The total economic impact of the storms was estimated to be $3.4 billion. Demographics <inaudible> 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 The Cayman Islands have more registered businesses than people. In 2016 the Cayman Islands had an estimated population of about 60,765, representing a mix of more than 100 nationalities. Out of that number, about half are of Caymanian descent. About 60% of the population is of mixed race mostly mixed African Caucasian. 
The islands are almost exclusively Christian, with large numbers of Baptists, Presbyterians and Catholics, but also hosts Jewish, Muslim and Hindu communities. The vast majority of the population resides on Grand Cayman, followed by Cayman Brac and Little Cayman, respectively. The capital of the Cayman Islands is Georgetown, on the southwest coast of Grand Cayman. Topic. District populations Topic. According to the Cayman Islands 2016 Compendium of Statistics released by the Economics and Statistics Office ESO, the estimated resident population is above 61,000 people, broken down as follows Georgetown, 31,935 West Bay, 11,686 Baden Town, 12,669 North Side, 1,460 East End, 1,511 Cayman Brac and Little Cayman Sister Islands, 2,099 Economy Sir Vassal Johnson, who became the only Caymanian ever knighted, was a pioneer of Cayman's financial services industry. Cayman Islands past Governor Stuart Jack said, as one of the architects of modern Cayman, especially the financial industry, Sir Vassal guided the steady growth of these islands as the first financial secretary. His remarkable vision set the foundation for the prosperity and economic stability of these islands. Without his input, Cayman might well have remained the islands that time forgot. With an average income of around kid $47,000, Caymanians have the highest standard of living in the Caribbean. According to the CIA World Factbook, the Cayman Islands' GDP per capita is the 38th highest in the world, but the CIA's data for Cayman dates to 2004 and is likely to be lower than present day values. The territory prints its own currency, the Cayman Islands dollar kid, which is pegged to the U.S. dollar 1.227 United States dollars to 1 Cayman Islands dollar. However, in many retail stores throughout the islands, the kid is typically traded at 1 United States dollar and 25 cents. The government has established a needs assessment unit to relieve poverty in the islands, the government. S primary source of income is indirect taxation, there is no income tax, capital gains tax, or corporation tax. An import duty of 5% to 22% automobiles 29.5% to 100% is levied against goods imported into the islands. Few goods are exempt, notable exemptions include books, cameras, gold, and perfume. On 15 July 2012 one of the Cayman Islands Former Premier's Makiva Bush announced the intended introduction of a community enhancement fee in the form of a payroll tax to be paid solely by expatriate workers. Caymanians themselves were to remain exempt from this tax. This would have been the first direct tax on income in the Cayman Islands. History. Bush also announced a 5% fee on certain categories of employment to be payable by businesses. However, the payroll tax was scrapped before it had been implemented. Tourism One of Grand Cayman's main attractions is Seven Mile Beach, site of a number of the island's hotels and resorts. Named one of the ultimate beaches by Caribbean travel and life, Seven Mile Beach is on the western shore of Grand Cayman Island. It is a public property and possible to walk the full length of the beach, past all the hotels, resorts, and public beach bars. Historical sites in Grand Cayman, such as Pedro St. James Castle in Savannah, also attract visitors. Tourists also visit the Sister Islands, Little Cayman and Cayman Brac. All three islands offer scuba diving, and the Cayman Islands is home to several snorkeling locations where tourists can swim with stingrays. The most popular area to do this is Stingray City, Grand Cayman. Stingray City is a top attraction in Grand Cayman and originally started in the 1980s, when divers started feeding squid to stingrays. The stingrays started to associate the sound of the boat motors with food, and thus visit this area year round. There are two shipwrecks off the shores of Cayman Brac, including the MV Captain Keith Tibbetts. Grand Cayman also has several shipwrecks off its shores, including one deliberate one. 
On 30 September 1994 the USS Kittiwake was decommissioned and struck from the Naval Vessel Register. In November 2008 her ownership was transferred for an undisclosed amount to the government of the Cayman Islands, which had decided to sink the Kittiwake in June 2009 to form a new artificial reef off Seven Mile Beach, Grand Cayman. Following several delays, the ship was finally scuttled according to plan on 5 January 2011. The Kittiwake has become a dynamic environment for marine life. While visitors are not allowed to take anything, there are endless sights. Each of the five decks of the ship offers skirlfish, rare sponges, goliath groupers, urchins, and more. Experienced and beginner divers are invited to swim around the Kittiwake. Pirates Week, an annual 11 day November festival, was started in 1977 by Jim Baden, then Minister of Tourism, to boost tourism during the country. S tourism slow season. Other Grand Cayman tourist attractions include the Ironshore Landscape of Hell, the 23-acre (93,000 square meters) marine theme park, Cayman Turtle Center, Island Wildlife Encounter, previously known as Bosun. S Beach, the production of gourmet sea salt, and the Mastic Trail, a hiking trail through the forests in the center of the island. The National Trust for the Cayman Islands provides guided tours weekly on the Mastic Trail and other locations. Another attraction to visit on Grand Cayman is the Observation Tower, located in Kamana Bay. The Observation Tower is 75 feet tall and provides 360 degree views across Seven Mile Beach, Georgetown, the North Sound, and beyond. It is free to the public and climbing the tower has become a popular thing to do in the Cayman Islands. Points of interest include the East End Light, sometimes called Gorling Bluff Light, a lighthouse at the east end of Grand Cayman Island. The lighthouse is the centerpiece of East End Lighthouse Park, managed by the National Trust for the Cayman Islands. The first navigational aid on the site was the first lighthouse in the Cayman Islands. Topic: Shipping Topic. The Merchant Marine total is 123 ships 1,000 GRT or over totaling 2,402,058 GRT, 3,792,094 metric tons deadweight DWT. The fleet includes 22 bulk carriers, 5 cargo ships, 31 chemical tankers, 2 container ships, 1 liquefied gas transport, 21 petroleum tankers, 35 refrigerated cargo ships, 5 roll-on, roll-off vessels and 1 specialized tanker. Note, some foreign ships register in the Cayman Islands as a flag of convenience. In 2002 ships from 11 countries took advantage of this option, including 15 from Greece, 5 from the United States, 5 from the United Kingdom, 2 from Cyprus, 2 from Denmark and 3 from Norway. Labor the Cayman Islands has a small population of 60,765 and therefore a limited workforce. Work permits may, therefore, be granted to foreigners. On average, there have been more than 21,000 foreigners holding valid work permits. Topic. Work permits for non-citizens To work in the Cayman Islands as a non-citizen, a work permit is required. This involves passing a police background check and a health check. A prospective immigrant worker will not be granted a permit unless certain medical conditions are present which include testing negative for syphilis and HIV. A permit may be granted to individuals on special work. A foreigner must first have a job to move to the Cayman Islands. The employer applies and pays for the work permit. Work permits are not granted to foreigners who are in the Cayman Islands unless it is a renewal. The Cayman Islands Immigration Department requires foreigners to remain out of the country until their work permit has been approved. The Cayman Islands presently imposes a controversial rollover in relation to expatriate workers who require a work permit. Non Caymanians are only permitted to reside and work within the territory for a maximum of nine years unless they satisfy the criteria of key employees. Non Caymanians who are rolled over may return to work additional nine-year periods, subject to a one-year gap between their periods of work. The policy has been the subject of some controversy within the press. Law firms have been particularly upset by the recruitment difficulties that it has caused. Other less well-remunerated employment sectors have been affected as well. 
Concerns about safety have been expressed by diving instructors, and realtors have also expressed concerns. Others support the rollover as necessary to protect Caymanian identity in the face of immigration of large numbers of expatriate workers. Concerns have been expressed that in the long term, the policy may damage the preeminence of the Cayman Islands as an offshore financial center by making it difficult to recruit and retain experienced staff from onshore financial centers. Government employees are no longer exempt from this rollover policy, according to this report in a local newspaper. The governor has used his constitutional powers, which give him absolute control over the disposition of civil service employees, to determine which expatriate civil servants are dismissed after seven years' service and which are not. This policy is incorporated in the Immigration Law 2003 revision, written by the United Democratic Party government, and subsequently enforced by the People's Progressive Movement Party government. Both governments agree to the term limits on foreign workers, and the majority of Caymanians also agree it is necessary to protect local culture and heritage from being eroded by a large number of foreigners gaining residency and citizenship. CARICOM single market economy in recognition of the CARICOM Free Movement Skilled Persons Act which came into effect in July 1997 in some of the CARICOM countries such as Jamaica and which has been adopted in other CARICOM countries, such as Trinidad and Tobago it is possible that CARICOM nationals who hold the A Certificate of Recognition of Caribbean Community Skilled Person may be allowed to work in the Cayman Islands under normal working conditions. Government. Topic. The Cayman Islands is a British Overseas Territory, listed by the UN Special Committee of 24 as one of the 16 non-self-governing territories. The current constitution, incorporating a Bill of Rights, was ordained by a statutory instrument of the United Kingdom in 2009. A 19 seat not including two non-voting members appointed by the governor which brings the total to 21 members legislative assembly is elected by the people every four years to handle domestic affairs. Of the elected members of the Legislative Assembly MLAs, seven are chosen to serve as government ministers in a cabinet headed by the governor. The premier is appointed by the governor, a governor is appointed by the Queen of the United Kingdom on the advice of the British government to represent the monarch. Governors can exercise complete legislative and executive authority if they wish through blanket powers reserved to them in the Constitution. Bills which have passed the Legislative Assembly require royal assent before becoming effective. The Constitution empowers the Governor to withhold royal assent in cases where the legislation appears to him or her to be repugnant to or inconsistent with the Constitution or affects the rights and privileges of the Legislative Assembly or the royal prerogative, or matters reserved to the Governor by Article 55. The executive authority of the Cayman Islands is vested in the Queen and is exercised by the Government, consisting of the Governor and the Cabinet. There is an office of the Deputy Governor, who must be a Caymanian and have served in a senior public office. The Deputy Governor is the Acting Governor when the office of Governor is vacant, or the Governor is not able to discharge his or her duties or is absent from the Cayman Islands. The current Governor of the Cayman Islands is Martin Roper. The Cabinet is composed of two official members and seven elected members, called Ministers, one of whom is designated Premier. The Premier can serve for two consecutive terms after which he is barred from attaining the office again. Although an MLA can only be Premier twice any person who meets the qualifications and requirements for a seat in the Legislative Assembly can be elected to the Legislative Assembly indefinitely, there are two official members of the Legislative Assembly, the Deputy Governor and the Attorney General. They are appointed by the Governor in accordance with Her Majesty's instructions, and although they have seats in the Legislative Assembly, under the 2009 Constitution, they do not vote. They serve in a professional and advisory role to the MLAs. The Deputy Governor represents the Governor who is a representative of the Queen and the British Government. While the Attorney General serves to advise on legal matters and has special responsibilities in the LA, he is generally responsible for changes to the Penal Code among other things. The seven ministers are voted into office by the 19 elected members of the Legislative Assembly of the Cayman Islands. One of the ministers, the leader of the majority political party, is appointed premier by the governor. After consulting the premier, the governor allocates a portfolio of responsibilities to each cabinet minister. 
Under the principle of collective responsibility, all ministers are obliged to support in the Assembly any measures approved by Cabinet. Almost 80 departments, sections and units carry out the business of government, joined by a number of statutory boards and authorities set up for specific purposes, such as the Port Authority, the Civil Aviation Authority, the Immigration Board, the Water Authority, the University College Board of Governors, the National Pensions Board and the Health Insurance Commission. Since 2000, there have been two official major political parties, the Cayman Democratic Party CDP, and the People's Progressive Movement PPM. While there has been a shift to political parties, many contending for office still run as independents. The two parties are notably similar, though they consider each other rivals in most cases, their differences are generally in personality and implementation rather than actual policy. The Cayman Islands currently lacks any real liberal or progressive representation in the legislative assembly or in the form of organized political parties. As of the May 2017 general election, members of the PPM and CDP have joined together with three independent members to form a government coalition despite many years of enmity. <laughs> <laughs> Defense and law enforcement The defense of the Cayman Islands is the responsibility of the United Kingdom. Law enforcement in the country is provided chiefly by the Royal Cayman Islands Police Service and the Cayman Islands Customs Department. These two agencies cooperate in aspects of law enforcement, including their Joint Marine Unit. The Cayman Islands Cadet Corps was formed in March 2001 and carries out military-type training with teenage citizens of the country. As of 2017 the PPM-led coalition government have pledged to form a Coast Guard to protect the interests of the islands, especially in terms of illegal immigration and illegal drug importation. Taxation <inaudible> 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 No direct taxation is imposed on residents and Cayman Islands companies. The government receives the majority of its income from indirect taxation. Duty is levied against most imported goods, which is typically in the range of 22% to 25%. Some items are exempted, such as baby formula, books, cameras and certain items are taxed at 5%. Duty on automobiles depends on their value. The duty can amount to 29.5% up to $20,000 kid SIF cost, insurance and freight and up to 42% over $30,000 kid SIF for expensive models. The government charges flat licensing fees on financial institutions that operate in the islands and there are work permit fees on foreign labor. A 13% government tax is placed on all tourist accommodations in addition to $37.50 airport departure tax which is built into the cost of an airline ticket. There are no taxes on corporate profits, capital gains, or personal income. There are no estate or death inheritance taxes payable on Cayman Islands real estate or other assets held in the Cayman Islands. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Foreign Relations. Topic: <inaudible> Foreign policy is controlled by the United Kingdom as the islands remain an overseas territory of the United Kingdom. Although in its early days, the Cayman Islands' most important relationships were with Britain and Jamaica, in recent years, as a result of economic dependence, a relationship with the United States has developed. Though the Cayman Islands is involved in no major international disputes, they have come under some criticism due to the use of their territory for narcotics trafficking and money laundering. In an attempt to address this, the government entered into the Narcotics Agreement of 1984 and the Mutual Legal Assistance Treaty of 1986 with the United States, to reduce the use of their facilities associated with these activities. In more recent years, they have stepped up the fight against money laundering, by limiting banking secrecy, introducing requirements for customer identification and record keeping, and requiring banks to cooperate with foreign investigators. Due to their status as an overseas territory of the UK, the Cayman Islands has no representation either in the United Nations or in most other international organisations. However, the Cayman Islands still participates in some international organisations, being an associate member of CARICOM and UNESCO, and a member of a sub-bureau of Interpol. Infrastructure <inaudible> 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 Topic. Ports 
Topic. Georgetown is the port capital of Grand Cayman. There are no berthing facilities for cruise ships, but up to four cruise ships can anchor in designated anchorages. There are three cruise terminals in Georgetown, the North, South, and Royal Wattler terminals. The ride from the ship to the terminal is about five minutes. Topic. Air transport Topic. Topic. Education Topic. Topic. Primary and secondary schools Topic. The Cayman Islands Education Department operates state schools. Caymanian children are entitled to free primary and secondary education. There are two public high schools on Grand Cayman, John Gray High School and Clifton Hunter High School, and one on Cayman Brack, Lehman E. Scott High School. Various churches and private foundations operate several private schools. Topic. Colleges and universities Topic. The University College of the Cayman Islands has campuses on Grand Cayman and Cayman Brac and is the only government-run university on the Cayman Islands. A hall at the University College of the Cayman Islands is named after Sir Vassal Johnson, who the Cayman Islands Financial Services Association credited as one of the founding fathers of the financial services sector in the Cayman Islands. Sir Vassal is also the only person to ever be knighted in any British dependent territory. HTTP colon slash slash www.gov.ky slash portal slash page slash portal slash sighome slash pressroom slash archive slash 200811 slash governor's tribute to Vassal. The International College of the Cayman Islands is a private college in Grand Cayman. The college was established in 1970 and offers associate S. Bachelor S. and Master S. degree programs. Grand Cayman is also home to St. Matthew's University, which includes a medical school and a school of veterinary medicine. The Cayman Islands Law School, a branch of the University of Liverpool, is based on Grand Cayman. The Cayman Islands Civil Service College, a unit of Cayman Islands government organized under the portfolio of the civil service, is in Grand Cayman. Co-situated with University College of the Cayman Islands, it offers both degree programs and continuing education units of various sorts. The college opened in 2007 and is also used as a government research center. There is a University of the West Indies open campus in the territory. <laughs> Health See Health in the Cayman Islands Topic. Emergency services Topic. The Royal Cayman Islands Police Service RCIPS provides law enforcement for the three islands. Regular offshore marine and air patrols are conducted by the RCIP using a small fleet of vessels and a helicopter. Grand Cayman is a port of call for Britain's Royal Navy and the United States Coast Guard who often assist with sea rescues when their resources are in the Cayman Islands area. The Cayman Islands Fire Service provides fire prevention, fire fighting and rescue. Its headquarters are in Georgetown and has substations in Frank Sound, West Bay, Cayman Brac and Little Cayman. Access to emergency services is available using 911, the emergency telephone number, the same number as is used in Canada and the United States. The Cayman Islands Department of Public Safety's Communications Center processes 911 and non-emergency law enforcement, EMS, fire, and search and rescue calls for all three islands. The Communications Center dispatches RCIP and EMS units directly, however, the Cayman Islands Fire Service maintains their own dispatch room at the airport fire station. Topic. Sports. Topic. Truman Baden Sports Complex is a multi-use complex in Georgetown. The complex is separated into an outdoor, six-lane 25-meter swimming pool, full-purpose track and field and basketball, netball courts. The field surrounded by the track is used for association football matches as well as other field sports. The track stadium holds 3,000 people. 
Association football is the national and most popular sport, with the Cayman Islands national football team representing the Cayman Islands in FIFA. The Cayman Islands Basketball Federation joined the International Basketball Governing Body FIBA in 1976. The country's national team attended the official 2011 Caribbean Basketball Championship for the first time. Rugby union is a developing sport, and has its own national men's team, women's team, and sevens team. The Cayman men's rugby sevens team is second in the region after the 2011 NACRA sevens championship. The Cayman Islands is a member of FIFA, the International Olympic Committee, and the Pan American Sports Organization, and also competes in the Biennial Island Games. The Cayman Islands is a member of the International Cricket Council, which they joined in 1997 as an affiliate, before coming an associate member in 2002. The Cayman Islands national cricket team represents the islands in international cricket. The team has previously played the sport at first class, list A and 2020 level. It competes in Division 5 of the World Cricket League. Squash is popular in the Cayman Islands with a vibrant community of mostly expats playing out of the Seven Court South Sound Squash Club. In addition, the women S Professional Squash Association hosts one of their major events each year in an all-glass court being set up in Kamana Bay. In December 2012, the former Cayman Open will be replaced by the Women's World Championships, the largest tournament in the world. The top Cayman men's player, Cameron Stafford is number two in the Caribbean and ranked top 200 on the men's professional circuit. Flag football has men's, women's and co-ed leagues. Other organized sports leagues include softball, beach volleyball, Gaelic football and ultimate frisbee. The Cayman Islands Olympic Committee was founded in 1973 and was recognized by the IOC in 1976. In the 21st century, skateboarding has become popular among the youth. In February 2010, the first purpose built track for kart racing in the Cayman Islands was opened. Corporate karting leagues at the track have involved widespread participation with 20 local companies and 227 drivers taking part in the 2010 Summer Corporate Karting League. Topic: Music. Topic: the Cayman National Cultural Foundation manages the F.J. Harquail Cultural Center and the $4 million Harquail Theater. The Cayman National Cultural Foundation, established in 1984, helps to preserve and promote Cayman folk music, including the organization of festivals such as Cayman Islands International Storytelling Festival, the Cayman Jazz Fest, Seafarers Festival and Kayfest. The jazz, calypso and reggae genres of music styles feature prominently in Cayman music as celebrated cultural influences. Many of Cayman-inspired pop songs belong to these forms of music styles. Media There is one print newspaper currently in circulation throughout the islands, the Cayman Compass. There are numerous online news services including Cayman News Service and the Cayman Compass Online Edition. A local television station, CITN, Cayman 27, shows Cayman Islands news. Local radio stations are broadcast throughout the islands. Feature films that have been filmed in the Cayman Islands include, The Firm, Haven, Cayman Went and Zombie Driftwood. Topic. Notable Caymanians Topic. Topic. See also. Topic. Outline of Cayman Islands. Index of Cayman Islands related articles. Topic. References. Topic. Topic. Further reading. Bultby, Paul G. 1996. Cayman Islands. Oxford, ABC Clio Press. ISBN 9781851092042. Bultby, Paul G. 1996. 
History of the Cayman Islands. Caribbean Magazine. Cayman Islands. 2005 CIA World Factbook. Retrieved 4 July 2005. Originally from the CIA World Factbook 2000. Michael Cratton and the New History Committee 2003. Founded upon the seas, a history of the Cayman Islands and their people. Kingston, Jamaica, Ian Randall Publishers. ISBN 0-9729358-3-5. Non-self-governing territories listed by General Assembly in 2002. United Nations Special Committee of 24 on Decolonization. Archived from the original on 3 December 2008. Retrieved 4 July 2005. External links Cayman Islands Encyclopædia Britannica. 5 11th ed. 1911. Cayman Islands Government Cayman Islands Department of Tourism Cayman Islands Travel Guide Wikimedia Atlas of Cayman Islands Cayman Islands Film Commission. Cayman Islands. The World Factbook. Central Intelligence Agency. Cayman Islands from UCB Libraries Govpubs. Cayman Islands at Curlie Cayman National Cultural Foundation